Hello friends in the series of BSC IPF I welcome you all wish you a very happy World Investor Week 2020 this is a special series developed and designed in association with BSC IPF and SEBI because they want a small and common investor to get empowered with knowledge this is a special series on account of World Investor Week in which we are discussing various aspects related to the secondary market so the investor who is coming for a very first time into the stock market can check out this entire series this series will make us make him understand the various aspects related to the secondary market and what is the procedure which he or she needs to follow there is a separate playlist on our youtube channel one can check out for knowing it in detail we were talking about the secondary market where we have understood and uh, discussed the importance of demat account trading account saving account then the mandatory document voluntary document how the kyc form looks how the account opening form looks and if for our generation if this generation wants to save the time and if they wants to do something for environment if they want to have the paperless transaction then online kyc is the thing for them we have understood how the online kyc can be done but now we will discuss the process of doing online kyc here we are with the process of online kyc it is a process outline yes we understood that we need to visit the website app or digital platform of a stock broker we need to there will be a separate tab called online kyc we need to click on that then we will fill the online kyc form submit the documents online as photo scan of the original undersigned document <coughs> and then our account will get activated this question can come into the mind that uh, if someone is filling a wrong information then th there can be a mess in future but no there is a multi layer verification process with a broker uh, guided by sebi so at each level they'll verify our email address they'll verify our mobile number they'll verify our pan they'll verify our aadhar they'll verify the other documents so there will be a multi layer verification process so we need not to get worry about it for verification if we are writing our mobile number and email then they'll send us a otp few digits we need to note it down we need to fill the same uh, six digit or eight digit code uh, into the form so that our mobile will get verified we cannot just type a wrong mobile number the otp will not come if we are not writing the otp into the form then our form will not go ahead so verifying mobile and email is important with otp one time password we can do it then aadhar through uidi uh, with uidai authentication and verification mechanism we can verify the aadhar for pan they'll check it out with the database of income tax department with it they will verify our pan for bank account details there is a procedure called penny drop mechanism penny drop mechanism by initiating small transfer which would provide details on same of account holder bank and ifsc also it is called as a penny drop mechanism documents other than aadhar we can uh, we can go through digilocker digilocker is a is a application there are various fake application but we need to be very careful while going for a digilocker if we are going for digilocker we need to upload our documents they they are having their verification mechanism if our documents are uploaded on digilocker we can use the same documents for various purpose here we are using the documents for online kyc uh we need to this this is how the form will look first name middle name last name email address mobile number how our mobile and email will get verified we have discussed recently then a state and city for pan we need to write our pan number here and they'll verify it with the database of it then uh, for aadhar we need to do it through digilocker uh, the, what is digilocker we have talked about it also so this is how this is a, a outline of the online kyc process we are stopping here thank you very much for liking our session don't forget to write your name along with your email address in the comment section and the same topic is there in marathi and hindi you can check out our youtube channel stay tuned